Instead of hands in the air, it's headlights and grills for tonight's drive-in award show. Usually the star-studded event would be held at Centennial Hall, but due to COVID-19 protocols, this year it's an outdoor affair. Well, I think we've got 11 or 12 performers tonight. It's pretty much the full show that you'd see inside. And these are not short performances. All complete songs, lots of performances, all the traditional awards are being given out. Uh, just like you'd expect normally. One of those artists, local Eric Etheridge, says he first started performing live right here in London. London fans are the best. I actually got my start playing music right here in London uh, on Richmond Row. So uh, London is a special, special place to me and it's it's pretty cool to have the CMAOs back in London. He's nominated for three separate awards, Single of the Year, Male Artist of the Year and Video of the Year. If I were to win a CMAO tonight, it would be incredible because I've never won one. I've been nominated a bunch of times. Also, the competition in Ontario, there's so much talent in Ontario for country music, and so it would be a huge honor to win tonight. Over 250 vehicles filled with fans will be parked at the Western District grounds. Everyone is asked to wear a mask as they cross their fingers in hopes of their favorite country artist winning a CMAO award. Fans' choice is always popular. Who doesn't want to be the most popular kid in the class? And then, of course, the biggest is probably the Compass Award which tallies total spins and airplay and worldwide exposure. And it's always nice to crown someone champion of that. Jordan Reed, CTV News.